There are many varieties of products to choose a camping sleeping bags, each one with unique features, advantages, and pricing. I did a lot of research to assist you in making the best choice. A list of the best camping sleeping bags from trusted brands has been created after reading a ton of reviews. I found these products much helpful for people like you. If you want to know about the price and other information, be sure to check my description. So without any further delay let's jump into the video. Number 1. Alps Outdoor Z Redwood the Alps Outdoors Redwood is a massive rectangular camping sleeping bag with a rugged, vintage design. This bag measures head to toe with high quality materials that keep you warm and comfortable. We were impressed from first glance, and after months of testing, our experts unanimously selected the Redwood as our favorite. We named it our top bag for several reasons. It's warm, plush, super comfortable, but also you were rugged and stylish. This bag feels almost like a weighted blanket when you slide inside. The general weight of the bag settled around us as if we were being hugged to sleep. The fabrics are soft, void of cool spots, and are virtually soundless during nighttime movement. We're big fans of the comfort and warmth of flannel liners in camping sleeping bags, and this model's got it. We assume that they are listing the extreme limit for this sleeping bag with this rating. The Redwood has a large packed size, which may be a factor if you have limited space in your home car, or trailer. It also rolls up bed roll style, so it lacks the added convenience and protection of a separate stuff sack. It likely isn't the best for wet climates and is probably too warm for summer nights at low elevations. But for folks who want a super warm and cozy camping sleeping bag to make overnights in the outdoors luxurious, this durable bag is our favorite to recommend. Number 2. Kelty True Comfort Double Wide The Kelty True Comfort Double Wide is our favorite two-person model. Many double bags are simply extra fabric, resulting in little more than a super large sleeping bag. However, the True Comfort offers cuddlers an array of features aimed at providing more of a sleeping system. Individual, built-in blankets allow sleepers the ability to customize personal warmth preferences. A U-shaped, topside zipper bypasses the foot box, allowing toes to stay warmer, while a massive hood keeps pillows in place and helps trap heat escaping from the top of the head. These features and other add-ons create one of the best systems we have seen to allow two sleepers independent customization of personal temperature. This bag is as large as a standard queen-sized bed. This model is pricey. You can find two single bags to zip together for a wider two-person system at a lower overall cost. But then you'll be sacrificing the excellent features this bag offers. The Kelty True's taffeta fabrics are very silky and ultra soft, but also seem prone to snags and small tears. Additionally, we feel the built in individual quilts could be a bit wider. Minor qualms considered, this double bag is better than other two person models we've tested in the past and currently. Number 3. Teton Sports Polara. From its rugged outer shell to its warm fleece center quilt, Teton Sports Polara 3 in 1 is a stylish interchangeable bag that offers a wide range of customizable warmth. Each piece of the Polara is a separate and unique layer that can be added, removed, or interchanged, allowing it to be multiple bags in one. This layering system allows users to enjoy a more active role in how warm they want to stay in a wide variety of climates, temperatures, and seasons. It packs up much smaller and lighter than many of the sturdier bags in our review. It's warm, has lots of features and options, and, importantly, the Polara 3-in-1 is reasonably priced. On the list of good stuff are loops, snaps, zippers, pockets, drawstrings, and a detachable fleece liner. The Polara is a combination of your favorite on the couch movie blanket and a hardcore, cold-weather camping bag. The Polara 3-in-1 is made from synthetic materials that we didn't find as cozy or comfortable as the top-of-the-line canvas designs. The Polara's interior liner and fleece blanket are soft and warm, but they're grabby compared to the smooth, flannel interior of some camping sleeping bags. However, it's a toasty bag with lots of innovative options, and our recommendation for those interested in the value found in the versatility of three bags in one. Number 4. The North Face Eco. This sleeping bag offers the best warmth to weight ratio. There is no internal pocket to store your cell phone or wallet. The North Face Eco Trail Synthetic offers the best value for a sleeping bag that is lightweight, durable, and environmentally friendly. It comes in two sizes, regular and long, with the choice of zipper on the left or right side. It also comes in three different temperature ratings. 0, 20, and 35 degrees. It is durable because the shell is made with 50D recycled polyester ripstop with a non-PFC durable water repellent. 
The insulation is also recycled polyester. The fitted mummy hood has a cinch cord to retain warmth. There's also a draft collar and zipper baffle to prevent heat loss. Number 5. Big Agnes 15 Degree Sleeping Bags The Big Agnes Insulated Air Core Ultra Sleeping Pad can integrate with the sleeping bag, so your child will never slip off the pad in her sleep. Plus, the bag has one of the best temperature ratings for any youth sleeping bags on the market. We have owned our Big Agnes Little Kids bag for five years. Three of our kids have already passed this bag down to their younger siblings, and now it belongs to our youngest. The sleeping bag has not shown any wear and tear all these years, probably because the shell fabric is polyester ripstop with a water-repellent finish. The Big Agnes Kids line comes in three sizes, Little Red for kids up to 4 feet, 5 inches, Wolverine for kids up to 5 feet, and Duster for kids, juniors, teens between 4 feet, 5 inches for 5 feet, 6 inches. They all feature a sleeve for the insulated air core ultra, which is treated with antimicrobial to prevent microorganism growth. This pad also has thermalite insulation and heat reflective film that traps body heat and reflects it back to you. That's all from my end. I make helpful videos daily so do subscribe to my channel and ring the bell icon. If you need more information or if you want to know product price do check out my description. For any kind of problem please comment below. Stay updated with our cool products as it will make your life is much easier. Thank you. up like they naturally would without compressing the insulation. On a regular bag, or actually I should probably say on a non-vaulted bag, your toes would push up against the bag, compressing the insulation and forming a cold spot. So if you typically have cold feet in your bag, you might look to see if you have a vaulted foot box. A couple other things worth noting is the tie-down loops that allow you to secure your bag to your sleeping pad, and they've also added room in the knees which allow you to spread out a little bit without sleeping well, like a mummy. Now, one of the things that really attracted me to this bag is that it's completely made from recycled material. Everything from the down inside to the polyester shell has been recycled. Now, because it is recycled, it only has a 600 fill down, which isn't bad. It, it doesn't really affect the warmth of the bag. It just means the feathers are not as fluffy as an 800 or even a 900 fill down. And that's because most recycled down comes from old comforters and pillows and, and things like that where you just aren't going to find high loft down because high loft down is expensive and you don't really need it in your bedroom comforter. If you do want a high loft down, you're gonna have to go with a brand new product. 600 fill means it won't be as light as a higher rated fill. Basically, it takes more feathers to get the same amount of loft, which means more weight, but it also means that it's gonna be cheaper. Speaking of weight, this bag comes in at just under three pounds, at two pounds and 15 ounces, which for the fill power and the temperature rating on this bag is actually pretty good. The baffles are a boxed baffle construction as opposed to a sewn through construction. The difference is instead of taking two sheets of material, stitching them together, and then shoving some down in between, they actually sew a box, or actually more like a tube, to create the baffles. This design is slightly heavier because it uses more material, but it also helps prevent cold spots at the seams. Price. All in all, this is a really good bag at an affordable price. I paid right at $200 for this bag, and if you're in the market for a down bag, you will notice that there just aren't that many options on the market at this price point. Really, the only other bag under $200 that I've seen lately is the Cosmic 20 Degree Down Bag, which has been my go-to bag for the last 10 years or so. And the Echo Tro 20 is slightly heavier, but it's also warmer and it has nicer features. Cons. Now you know I can't get away without talking about some of the cons. Some of the things I really don't like about this bag, this is a true three season sleeping bag, which means it'll perform best in the spring and the fall. But in the summer, it's probably gonna be too hot. If it's the only bag that you're gonna own, then this is a really good bag. But if you spend most of your time hiking in the summertime, this bag is probably gonna be too warm and a little bit too heavy for most of the hiking that personally I'm gonna do. Con number two, the stuff sack that comes in this bag is bigger than I'd like it to be and it's not compressible. It's not that big of a problem for me. I actually prefer to keep my bag in a compressible dry sack anyways. Con number three. Last on my cons list, this bag is advertised as having an internal foam pocket, which it does not. 
I have looked all over this bag. I've turned it inside out. I went over it inch by inch and there is no internal phone pocket. Internal phone pockets are actually pretty good for maintaining battery life on your phone. 